When some think of the Northeast, they think of this. Not me. On Backwoods Angler TV, we'll take you to the other side of the most densely populated area of the country. We got it that time. Backwoods is an attitude. <laughs> Backwoods is a state of mind. <laughs> Backwoods can be in the remote sections of Maine or under a New Jersey interstate. Backwoods is where we live. Backwoods is where we fish. Backwoods Angler TV, your freshwater fishing authority for the Northeast. Catch it all here. Brought to you by Ace Recreational Marine Insurance. Ensuring progress. Golden Valley Natural. All natural jerky and snacks. Dorsey flashlights. And by Backwoods Angler TV and G3, a great catch. Welcome to Backwoods Angler TV. It's an autumn jerkbait bite on the river today. If you've watched our show, you know my favorite way to catch fish is on a jerkbait. Stick around to learn which colors to pick, where to throw, and how to entice these big girls to hit your lure. And I can't even speak, it's getting a beat. Today we're on the Susquehanna River in central Pennsylvania. We picked our boat up here at Lakeside Marine in Harrisburg. Lakeside provides marine sales and service for central and eastern Pennsylvania and is my G3 dealer of choice. If you're going to be fishing a river that is very shallow and very rocky, your best option is a jet boat. A jet drive drafts less water and can get through some of the skinniest water to access the backwoods. This G3 1860 CCJ DLX we're running has a Yamaha 65 horse outboard jet on the back and can travel over just inches of water. Hull density is critical and this G3 has .100 gauge thickness aluminum to protect you if you do hit. This is vital when you're facing rocks like these in order to get to the fish of a lifetime. Oh my gosh. Welcome to the mighty Susquehanna River. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but that was my first cast of the morning with the X-Wrap. Just a solid slab. Typical average size October bass, baby. There's such a specific technique to fishing these jerk baits this time of the year out on this river. All too many times I see people fishing a jerkbait way too quickly and you really need to slow it down. Sometimes they'll want this jerkbait sitting in front of them for 30 seconds or more without being twitched. Sometimes they'll want it just hanging out the back of the boat and you just keep kind of twitching it back and forth and eventually you get one to eat it. Sometimes you'll throw it out and cast it and on the second or third crank if they're eating bait, they're all over it. So let the fish dictate, but be patient. The little one hit it very aggressively that time. I mean, it was a it was a dead pause, a long pause, but he really hammered it. It's a little peanut. We're in six to eight feet of water through much of this section of this pool, and I've got some fish coming up on this shallow jerk bait. I just started shallow because the water is pretty clear in the middle here. We do have dirty water over on the east shore, but it is pretty clear here, so some fish are gonna come up. This is your shallow X-Wrap, but I really, I tend to have more confidence throwing one with a deeper bill. I just think a lot of those fish, those less active fish that aren't gonna come up to eat the jerk bait out of, you know, when it, when it only gets down four feet, if it gets down an extra two feet, they might be more prone to grab a hold of it. We'll see. I've, Getting some, I'm getting some action on the shallow one now, but I'm gonna switch her up here pretty soon, I believe. It's always good to do what the fish want. I found that out over the years. I don't get too, I don't get too complicated with this whole deal. Do what they want, you catch fish. 
Backwoods Angler TV brought to you by Gamma, molecularly altered fishing line. Zico Shoes. Shimano. And by Case Plastics, makers of the sinking salty shad. Coming up on Backwoods Angler TV. Oh I've been rendered speechless. One egg after another. Backwoods Angler TV is brought to you by the Delaware River Smallmouth Bass Fishing Handbook. Tips and techniques, tactics and information on seasonal patterns for any river situation. These are the techniques Blaine uses 200 days a year guiding on the Delaware River. Pick up your copy today at shop.backwoodsanglertv.com. North America and International Fair Chase is a full-time hunting and fishing consulting service. Contact us to discuss how we can make your dream trip a reality. Huntwithbutch.com Unforeseen accidents on the water can and will happen on occasion. If you do happen to suffer a boating accident, you'll want insurance that includes all coverages you'll need to get you back on the water quickly. Ace Recreational Marine Insurance provides all this plus added coverage for your fishing equipment, protection against uninsured boaters and theft, and even coverage for torment bass boats. All for a reasonable price. I'm Blaine Mangle, and this is why I have my boat insured with Ace. Backwoods Angler TV, brought to you by Ace Recreational Marine Insurance. Catch it all here. Eric J. Conrad, Mark B. Stanziola, and Parascavula Mamunez of Thomas Conrad & Conrad, a firm providing over 25 years of personal injury and family law practice. An unexpected injury can be an awful and painful experience, and medical bills can pile up. Let us help you get the money you deserve. There's no fee if there's no recovery. We also handle divorce, custody, support, and more. Plus, we have multiple offices throughout the Lehigh Valley and surrounding areas for your convenience. Call today. Klein Farms Dairy and Creamery, located in Forks Township, just north of Easton, offers you wholesome natural foods straight from the source. We are licensed by the state of Pennsylvania to sell raw milk, and also available as our all-natural yogurt, mozzarella, regatta, and flavored cheese spreads. Check out our large assortment of artisanal cheeses, including cheddar, Colby, and Gouda. We also carry beef, eggs, and local honey. So buy fresh, buy local. Stop by Klein Farms Dairy and Creamery today. As anglers, we really need to understand the importance of both eye protection and eyewear. SolarBat is determined to offer performance polarized sunglasses for all sports enthusiasts at a great value so that all customers can afford performance polarized eyewear. For an added value, BWA TV fans will receive 10% off the original price when they enter the promo code BWA TV at checkout at solarbat.com. Backwoods Angler TV, brought to you by Wacky Worm, Solarbat, Rapala, Lakeside Marine in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, and by Case Plastics. Welcome back to Autumn on the Susquehanna River today on Backwoods Angler TV. River fishing is a challenge for a lot of anglers. A river is always changing with current and varying water levels. Fish react differently in a river than they do in still water. Fish are constantly dealing with current and will stay in areas where they can rest, behind rocks, trees, or structure, where the current will change directions and speed. We call these current breaks and current seams. Where the bass are located will affect how they strike the lure and how you should react to that strike. Fishing a river at this angle, I'm fishing this current seam. I got one on it. Just had one head butted. There's, you've got the bait in front of the fish most of the time, they're hitting it from behind. And if they strike at it hard and a nice sweeping hook set, You'll drive the hooks home with the right rod. Now my Shimano Crucial, this is a specific rod. It's just for jerk baits. This is their jerk bait model and it's got, it's got a perfect taper for driving a hook home. You don't want a stout graphite rod because you're going to pull the bait away. You're going to pull the hooks out of the fish's mouth. It's got a soft tip on it, a beautiful taper. It's perfect for jerk bait fishing. And what happens is they hit it from behind and occasionally they'll swipe at it and they might not get that tail, that tail treble. The right rod is crucial, no pun intended. <laughs> it's absolutely crucial to sticking fish, especially in current. There he is. 
that, that's a perfect example of what I was talking about before, about the rod being soft enough. That was really important right there on that fish. A little two and a half pounder. Now my gamma poly flex copolymer line is important for jerk bait fishing too. You don't want to be doing this with braid especially into this current like I'm doing it. You just don't want to be doing it with braid. Braid has absolutely no stretch. You're going to be pulling that bait away from fish. Polyflex has a little bit of stretch to it. It's just perfect for this. And if you want the lure to dive a little bit deeper, go with the fluorocarbon. Polyflex is a lot more buoyant. It'll float more, but won't get down quite as deep. The fluorocarbon, if you need a jerk bait to get deeper, throw it on the gamma edge fluorocarbon and it'll, it'll dive six inches to a foot deeper because it's less buoyant, it'll sink. It's an absolute poo. It's a pig. It was like setting a hook into a rock. Oh my gosh. I'm moving this boat over for this fish. This fish is huge. Oh my gosh. She jumped. They're jumped, they're all jumping. Oh, look at this. She didn't jump there, did she? Oh my god, pig. Oh! See what's good about that <laughs> is I can do a talking spot now. Just before that happened, she had the bait wrapped. Look at the line. She had the bait wrapped around a gill. It was in the gill. The line went in the gill. And when she jumped, it popped it. That's exactly what happened there. She popped that out of her gill. I'm going to retie that. Look at that. She had that line wrapped in her gill. That's nuts. That's exactly what happened there. And she jumped and popped it. She was four plus. My cameraman shakes his head, yes. She was four plus. Oh my God. Well, on that note, I'm going to retie my jerk bait. Don't go away. More X-Wrap fishing for trophy Susquehanna smallmouth coming up. My goodness. My hand hurts. During the break, visit the shop at BackwoodsAnglerTV.com. We've got DVDs, books, lures, and more. <laughs> what is with this fish? Tips and techniques for fishing the Northeast or wherever you are. That is a quality bass, no matter how you slice it, no matter where you catch it. KGT Unique Gifts. With one stop, you can show her how much you really appreciate all she does at home. Visit www.kgtuniquegifts.net. When it comes to fishing, there's a fine line between failure and success. There's a fine line between winning and losing. There's a fine line between the trophy and just another fish story. That line is gamma. Gamma, molecularly altered fishing line. The Coopersburg Diner and Family Restaurant, conveniently located in the center of Coopersburg on Route 309 between Allentown and Quakertown. Come and enjoy great homemade entrees, delicious desserts, and friendly atmosphere. Now offering corporate and private catering for your family celebration, business banquet, or any special occasion. Open daily from 5.30 a.m. until 10 p.m. Come see why everyone loves the Coop. Do you own an outboard jet motor? Backwoods Angler TV's new DVD, 30 Minute PM Outboard Jet Preventative Maintenance, is sure to save you money from repairs and it will keep you on the water and on the fish.
We anglers know how much our fishing gear is worth to us and how important it is to have it adequately insured. With the ACE Boatsman policy, both your gear and your guest's gear will be automatically covered. And if you have custom or other highly valuable equipment, you can purchase additional fishing gear coverage with limits of $2,500 or $10,000 with only a $100 deductible. If you are looking for comprehensive boat insurance that meets your specific needs, visit acemarineinsurance.com to find a local ACE agent who can help you with customized coverage at competitive rates. The ACE Recreational Marine Insurance Tip of the Week, protect your gear. When you're jerkbait fishing and you're choosing what bait you want to throw, it's very important to have done your homework. You want to make sure that you know what kind of forage is in the, the water, the river or lake that you're fishing. Now I know smallmouth like something with an orange belly. So I started out with this olive shad X-wrap because it's got a bright orange belly and it's pretty natural on the sides. Gold is always a good, a good way to go if, if when all else fails, smallmouth love gold. But do your homework and make sure you know what kind of forage, what kind of bait fish inhabit a specific water and then go natural. And if that doesn't work, then you want to go to things like your shad colors, any kind of shad color. But orange and gold are really, really staples for smallmouth bass. That Rapala X-Wrap has gotten, has getting, I can't even speak, it's getting the beat. That's how you want to land a fish when it's got a mouth full of treble hooks. Right there, just cup it nice and easy. It goes right back. Oh my gosh, this is a big fish too. Get out from under the boat. Get out from under the boat. Now see, I, I'm horsing this fish. I don't recommend that. <laughs> oh, what a pretty fish. I was horsing that fish to get it out from under the boat. Just tanks, every one of them. I can't, okay, you know what? That one I'll take. Because I couldn't see the hooks. With all this grass on this bait, I couldn't even see the hook. I just grabbed the lure, she popped right off. I'll take it. Big clump of grass. This is what we've been dealing with. It really makes for a bit of a nuisance. I'm casting my lure downstream a bit. I'm not going straight out like I normally do. I'm getting it down there fast because the wind is bowing the line. And I want to keep the lure in the strike zone as long as possible. So I'm casting it a little bit downstream. And the fish is right on it instantaneous when you hit that spot right I'm telling you and this is another beast oh my goodness gracious it's another beast absolute beast I'm going right to the other side with this one I'm not messing with it oh she's not as huge as she felt Oh, awesome fish, awesome, awesome fish. Man, she is a hot fish. Did you see that? Beautiful fish. Oh, I love you. Mmm. This, this bite actually may increase as this light starts to fall. That'll typically happen on a fall day. You're losing a sun angle. Your sun angle is getting less in the sky, which basically means it's just not getting as high over top of the water. So the warmest part of the day, late fall, is going to be mid to late afternoon, right prior to dark. So as that light falls, the bait fish get more frisky and the bass will begin to feed voraciously. That typically, that hour before dark is going to be happy hour in the fall. 
Stick around for more jerkbait techniques on the Susquehanna River when we come back. Backwoods Angler TV presents Coldwater River Fishing Secrets. In this seminar series on DVD, Blaine and Chris cover all your questions. Where, when, and how to locate river smallmouth in the coldest weather. For this and other DVDs on bass fishing techniques for any situation, visit BackwoodsAnglerTV.com. Planning a trip to the shore? Make the Cape Cod Inn your destination. We're a family-friendly motel just steps from the beach. You'll love those Wildwood days. Check us out and book your room today. Mountain Man Outdoor Supply, a leading wholesale distributor of hunting and fishing supplies. Highest quality yet affordable gear for the outdoorsman. Family operated, located in central PA. Visit mountainmanoutdoorsupply.com. Blaine Mengel speak at your next game dinner or church event. Contact Blaine at BackwoodsAnglerTV.com for bookings. Welcome back to Backwoods Angler TV. We're on an autumn trip to the Susquehanna River. The fall is a wonderful time to be out on the river. Fishing pressure is down as a lot of guys are hunting or watching football, but the bite is up as fish prepare for the cold temperatures ahead. My go-to lure in the autumn is a jerkbait. Smallmouth are feeding up for the winter and will react quickly to an injured minnow. As you'll see, fishing a minnow imitating lure like a Rapala X wrap in a river, you'll have to change how you move the bait to imitate a bait fish in current. You see what I'm doing here? I'm not I'm not reeling my line up once it makes that swing. I'm keeping it keeping as much line out as I can. Because I know the fish are there and I know the fish are looking at the lure. One was sniffing my jerk bait. What I mean by that, if you hear me ever say that, that basically all that means is there's a fish under it. And they'll come up and they'll headbutt it sometimes. <laughs> it makes you crazy, I'll tell you, because I, I know they're there. And you gotta be so patient and keep that bait in front of them. Don't reel, because you gotta downstream swing just a couple twitches and then drop it back. You'll take notice, that's what I'm gonna do this time. I'm gonna show you see if that fish cooperates or if one of his brothers and sisters does you know I got that down to about three or four feet with the first four twitches I want to twitch it very aggressively now I know it's down and it's just about in the zone right now now there's no reason for me to to reel too much because I've got current pulling the bait backwards and I want to keep it in the strike zone as long as possible See what I'm doing now? I'm dropping the lure back slowly. Now I'll twitch it up. Now I'm dropping it back again. Sometimes if there's a fish behind it, that's all it'll take. You just drop that lure back and they'll just unload on it. There he is. Oh, that's a good one. Did you see that? almost broke my almost broke my wrist. Look at this. I can't budge this fish. Oh my gosh. Fish. That's another one pushing four. Gotta use that technique, man. That technique on a river, I'm telling you, it's gold when the water's in that 50 to 60 degree range. Absolute gold, because the fish are in current. Use that downstream swing. Oh, that is a heavy four pound fish. 
I mean, oh man. They're just, they're, they're like, I'm, sp well, I'm not speechless if I'm talking to you, but I'm pretty close, I'll tell you. I've been rendered pretty close to speechless. Wow. Just one pig after another. Look at that. <laughs> Here's another little tip. <laughs> Most anglers know these fish are jumping and spinning and they're getting the line wrapped around their gills a lot and into the hooks of the of the jerk bait. I just checked that and it broke very easily. Take time and retie. The last thing you want to do is have the small mouth of a lifetime on there and haven't retied and have a weak spot in your line from it hitting all these boulders and rocks and lose the fish. It's, it's worth the, the minute or two it takes tie your tie your jerk bait again it's just worth it the Susquehanna in the fall is it if there's any better fishing in the country somebody is going to have to clue me in on Look at all the grass on the rod, on the reel, on the line. What is the grass on? The grass is on the line. <laughs> that is a pretty fish, isn't that pretty good? Isn't that a beautiful swim? Five big old hooks on there. She had one of them. Jerk bait fishing, late October. Her hog smallmouth <laughs> on the Susquehanna River. I'm Blaine Mangle for Backwoods Angler TV. Go to our website, backwoodsanglertv.com, for information, specials from our sponsors, and get some smallmouth fishing in before it gets too cold. Good fishing. Go back home, sweetheart. Go back home, sweetheart. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Backwoods Angler TV. Brought to you by these fine sponsors. I caught a fish!